Hello, and welcome to Morse's Math Morsels. And today's little discussion is about least common multiple. And what does that mean in mathematics? Well, I'm going to describe each word one at a time. In this sense, least means the number that is the lowest or the closest one to zero among a set of numbers. Common, meaning that the number of numbers will be the same as other numbers. So a common means that shared or having the same property. And finally, multiple. And to define that, I've listed uh, multiples from the familiar times tables. For example, two. This is a two times table, and its multiples uh, include 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Notice that I'm adding 2 to each number to get the number beneath, generating the multiples. Multiples of 3, or 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. And so forth for 4, 5, and 6, and uh, all the greater whole numbers. So I just showed a subset of those times tables. Least common multiple is often uh, abbreviated as LCM, the acronym, so if you see that in the mathematics it will generally mean least common multiple. And to find least uh, common multiples of these numbers within the squares here, just got to check each column for where a number occurs two or more times. For instance, uh, what is the LCM of 2 and 2 and 3? So we check the 2 times tables and the 3 times tables from the top at the least numbers and count along until well, we find a 6 here and a 6 here. No smaller numbers are in both tables, so 6 is the LCM. How about the least common multiple of uh, uh, 3, 4, and 6? Well, we could check the 3, the 4, and the 6 times tables and search for the smallest entry that is in all three of those. And sometimes I'll begin. Uh, at the largest number, since it tends to have the entries that grow the fastest and the most restrictions. So, I'm going to look at the 6 times tables. Uh, 6 is in the 3 times tables, but not the 4 times tables, so the LCM is not 6. Uh, how about 12? 12 is in the 6 times tables. Oh, and here it is in the 4 times tables, and also going down to the 3 times tables. So, 12 is that LCM. Uh, one more example. LCM of 2, 4, 5. Check the 2, 4, and 5 times tables. And there are some shortcuts you can sometimes use. For instance, 5 is odd. And since 2 and 4 are even, the least common multiple of 2, 4, and 5 will have to be an even number. So we can write off, begin skipping the odd multiples of 5, so forget 15. How about 10? Well, 10 is in the 2's times tables, there it is, but not in the 4 times tables. Let's try the next even multiple of 5, 20. Is that in the 4 times tables? Yes. There it is. And in the two times tables, yes, at the bottom on this chart, oh, 20 is the least common multiple of 2, 4, and 5. 20, 20, 20. Alrighty. Is there a least common multiple of all five of these numbers? Yes, there is, and any finite, that is, limited set of whole numbers will have some least common multiple. So I'm going to erase uh, this section for the time being. Paper towel disguise eraser.
Two, three, four, five, six, least common multiple. There is a number that is in all five tables if you continue these listings far enough along. And that number will be... Uh, 60. And that should be a very familiar looking number from everyday life. Number of seconds in a minute, number of minutes in an hour. It is an even number, and all the multiples of 2 are even. It is a multiple of 3. Notice the 30 down here. If you were to double the 30, that gives 60. And the 4 times tables includes a 20 and 40. So if you were to skip by 20s, go 20, 40, 60. And it ends in 0, which means it's a multiple of 5, because all multiples of 5 end in 5 or 0. And finally, 6. Notice that 60 is just merely 6 times 10, a 6 with a 0 on the end. Now 60 is LCM of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As for how I knew it was 60, well, it's an exercise you're free to do yourselves. Thanks for viewing.